Hello, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with an exhibition of artworks that finished on January 30th. And these are the prizes for the March 1st drawing for the winner to choose from. Half an hour consultation, one 8 by 10 your choice of style. This 6x8 bloom. One of my calendars. Let's see if I can keep my head out from underneath this time. Which are on sale now for 45 down from 55 You can contact me in comments or use my email address, which is EASPB, and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Also, my first book. Volume 1, Because I Can, is up for grabs as well as these two artworks here. It's my birthday in February, so I'm celebrating by giving away all kinds of stuff. I have two books. The second book is not a giveaway, but they're both on the Amazon link. And the Amazon link is on the link tree, and the link tree is under Show More, right under the video. Unlimited possibilities. So let me take that out of there and get on with this. I've made this video repeatedly. I am having camera focus issues, so I'm going to try really hard to take my time so you have a chance to see things in focus. And that looks pretty good. And so I'm just going to keep moving. That is a 18 it's either a 16 inch round or an 18 inch round, and I'm not sure which. This is a 14 by 14. <laughs> Maybe it's a 14. I guess it must be, it must think it's a 16, but I'm not sure why. Because this is 14 by 14 by 2. These are prison pours. There will be a 20% off coupon underneath the video. I have a small stack of 10 by 20s that I'll check in a moment to find out. If they're in frame, and they are in frame, I'm not going to vote refocus as often as I've tried in the other videos because it was uh, one of being a moot point. I love these new swipes with the prison pores and the spatula swipes. They're awesome. They need resin. If you have resin capacity, you should do that with your prison pores. I'm going to sparkle these. At the most sparkly parts of these are due to the um, Chantilly lace or the. Um, the True Silver, which I recommend both of. This is just gorgeous. I have another stack. That's, this does not have a video. That was some testing I was doing of some swipe colors. And then I decided to use my toothy tool afterwards. This is just totally gorgeous. Here's, here's a stage two. I think that must mean there are two videos. Because I have, I saved the part one, which is kind of cool. And then there's this one. And I like this one also. This is Toothy Tool. Which is a lot of fun to play with. And they're really easy to make. And if you can't find the video, you can always ask me. Because I have everything saved. I have 2,500 videos, 2,400 of which are available. And you can go to my YouTube channel and you can find them by looking for playlists, all playlists, created playlists. This is a favorite. Or you can just ask me because I have everything saved by topic and genre and by the hundred. I have a bunch of smaller pieces. So I'm going to have to focus and cross your fingers for me, please. That I can actually trust my green square to be for real. Try and take my time. I love this. Let's just. I think this was a shovel pour. The sparkle is wonderful. Here are two pieces that were test pieces for me. There are no videos. Cool. We're right still in still in frame. I was testing cell activators and uh, I'm, I like the, the results so much it doesn't matter. This is the True Silver or that uh, Chantilly lace I was talking about and it's beautiful. 
This is a piece that somebody asked me to test out. The Aussie Flow Troll is a cell activator without anything else in it. So, there we go. It's very sparkly and very beautiful and the colors are very clear, but there aren't... The cell patterns are just patterns, they're not actual cells. They look more like snake skin or alligator skin. This is a two-stage process and I love, love, love this. The texture and the drama and the depth are really awesome. This is a bloom. It doesn't look like your average bloom to me and that's what I like the most about it. That and the prism pour colors. I have a couple little beautiful canvases. And they came from one of those dollar stores and I wish I could remember the name and maybe I'll find out. <laughs> so I can tell you someday. I'm glad I have my glasses on so you can actually see this. These are beautiful. I like my test canvases. I'm going to have to record while I do tests just because. I guess I was feeling shy that day. I have a really small, little tiny round canvas. I don't think it's more than six inches. It's got that beautiful blue velvet. I'm not sure which way is up. I could probably look on the back. Yeah, I got it upside down. There we go. I love, love, love this. I think this was leftovers, but they are so beautiful and sparkly. And I always mix them with fresh paint. Let's hope. There we go. It's telling me it's not in focus, so I'm going to trust the green square. It might be a mistake. This I keep saying is, looks, um, this is the, the bird and pony, which sounds like a pub in England to me. We're moving in on getting ready for scapes. I've got a couple small pieces. Did I show you those already? I've made so many videos I really can't tell anymore. Just in case I didn't show them to you. This one looks like it has a butterfly with a, with a bug. I think I called it a, a slug. Those two were done at the same time. This is obviously my favorite. That one might have something else done to it. I have two rather large pieces. And I'm going to have to zoom out and hope for the best. This was supposed to be tall grass. I believe it's now seagrass. And it is totally gorgeous. Can I get it all in frame? I'm not sure I can get every last bit of it in frame. And we have a reflection from my camera's flashlight. Hopefully you can see this. And under that is the, the moon tree. Which I'm also hoping is in focus because I've not been able to focus a couple few times. Then my scapes are coming up. And we'll hope that I can share my favorite one with you in focus. <laughs> think after making this video six times <laughs> that I'd get faster, so maybe it will be. I want to double focus that just because this is glorious. I absolutely adore this. And my others are upside down. So I'm going to share that with you. Bring this one in. These are 12 by 24 inches. Purchasing an artwork is easy if you use my email and tell me the time you saw the painting you had an interest in and know that you are the most charitable <laughs> when you purchase an artwork. And it will also gain you entry or an invitation to be entered in the monthly drawing, which will happen next month on March 1st between 4 and 6 p.m. And the way to get in is to use the PayPal icon on my YouTube channel banner on the bottom right hand corner or the PayPal link on my link tree where you can also find my Amazon where you can see the two books 
And Kindle even lets you uh, score a little sneak peek in there too. Any shopping you do on my Amazon link is a great assistance to me. Thank you very much. Eventually it helps. And I appreciate your shopping there. This was a recent video. I've got two more. And I'm hoping that I'm still in frame. Yes, I am. Cool. I love this piece. The shimmer in the cliffs is like Makes me feel like they're all quartz and catching in the sun. This is a beauty. I adore this piece. I especially like the little silhouettes of trees along the horizon line. This was the painting that started this series. I'm going to check and see if we're in frame. And that's good because that's a 14 by 14 and we have a stack of 14 by 14s coming right up. Let me make sure, 100%, that I'm in focus. Yay! Hopefully, that means I caught it this time. And here is a stack of my favorite series ever, 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 because the prison pores and the spatula combined are the bomb. My most overused phrase ever. And I'm going to check. One by one, after I sparkle that at you. That is very shimmery and beautiful. This was, this started the series. Well, actually, the one that started the series sold the day I posted it, so I'm going to keep trying to make sure I'm focused. Just because I've had so many experiences with making this video that did not work out. And I would really like the, for this to be the lucky one. Sorry about all the clicking around. This next piece is very abstract expressionist. It was going kind of a little wonky and I used my toothy tool and I'm so happy that I did because I really, really, really like it a lot. It has great shimmer and sparkle and great texture and the colors are a little odd, but they're perfect. This is my favorite purple painting ever and I hope to do a few more of these. And I am almost done, and I should say thank you for the kind words and the compliments. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting all this time. Really appreciate that. Don't forget that there's a 20% off color art coupon code underneath the video. Don't forget my thumbs up, please. When you share my videos, you help my channel survive. I really appreciate your help. When you watch longer and some of the commercials, it's a big assistance too. Your comments are wonderful. You warm my heart up when it's feeling a little weak. <laughs> Um, my link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group for students. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, one-on-one -on -one privately. You can contact me through my email address, EAS, PBay, the word gallery, spelled out at gmail.com, should you want to inquire after an artwork. And it's from a video you're watching. Use the hashtag in the title or the time during an exhibition video, along with the date the exhibition video took place. We're down to our last two paintings. And I think I might have actually survived this. <laughs> and I've got a nice sign over there that says, keep head out, so I'm working on it. Spring clothing below the video is mine, along with the gallerist clothing on the link tree. And should you happen to f not, should you happen to find it something like this, which is my new favorite, gonna post on my birthday, February 9th, um, and you wanna see it added to Fine Art America, pixels.com, Society6, uh, Le Gallerist, or any of the other places that are not coming to mind right now. All you have to do is ask me and I'll let you know. Just ask me through an email. All right, so I love you guys. I hope you know that I post at noon and midnight, Eastern Standard Time, most days recently. And <laughs> if you have questions, please ask me. Under the rest of my videos, you'll find my paint pouring and my cell activator recipe. It's time to clean my glasses. Um, 
If you have comments, please leave them. I can't think of anything else to tell you other than I love you and thank you for everything. I'm so glad you're here. You inspire the heck out of me. I hope you keep coming back for more. And uh, if you're new, I'm glad you're here too. Please subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I'll see you anon.